Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my tutorials. In the last tutorial on my channel, I explained how to create this particular chart wherein you select a month in, in a slicer and this displays the last six months of the data in this particular uh, chart over here. For example, if I have selected June over here, it will show me all the data for the, for the, for the last six months until January. Likewise, if I select December, it will show me all the data from July onwards up till December. So if I go back to the measure here and show you what we did here. So basically we hard coded this as minus six. And if I change this to three here, I will have to make that change. If I need three, I need to change that in the measure here to make that change. However, what if we want to keep that dynamic wherein we get to choose through a slicer, what are the number of months that we want to see? So that is what we will be going to learn today. So let's get started. So what we need to do is we need to create a what if parameter. So I'm going to go here to the uh, modeling tab and click on new parameter under what if. Now I have a parameter over here. Let's call this as uh, variable months. Months and then this is going to be a whole number. My minimum here is going to be uh, minus 10 and then my maximum here it's going to be minus um, 1 okay and then my increment is 1 and I'm going to add this slicer to the page over here so as you can see here it is now added a slicer to the page where is it disappeared okay it's here okay so let us pull this over here and then add this particular slicer here so right now it is at let us set this at minus 6 for now and then uh, go here to the variable months. You, you will see that we've now created a, uh, a measure here which says variable months value. And now let's go back to the measure that we created here which was months to show and replace this value over here with variable months value and then press enter. Now what will happen is this will reflect whatever months that you select here from this particular slicer. If you select, let's say, minus 8, then you will have minus 8 months, all 8 months displayed here. If you just select, let's say, 2, you will only have 2 months all the way from December and November, including December and November. So likewise, if you say 10, you will get to see all 10 months in this particular uh, visual over here. So this is how you can create a variable uh, month, which you can just simply select from the slicer and display the number of months in that particular visual. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this helpful and please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.